Hello, everybody. Welcome to a special edition of AJ42K Productions. I am your host, AJ42K. Everyone, it's been a long time since I made an actual video, but I want to say this right now to everybody. Welcome to the single digit countdown of my next race. I am doing the Lincoln Half Marathon and taking my talents to the capital city of Nebraska. L Hello, Lincoln. L-I-N-C-O-L-N. Losers in Nebraska can't overlook Nebraska. Off the point on that. The real point is my next race. I already did a 10... For those who you don't know, I just did a 10-mile run about three weeks ago. My P I PR'd in that same race two years later. Now comes to the Lincoln Half Marathon. There's a marathon and there's a half marathon if you don't know. No more details on that. Look it up if you want to on Google. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> As for me, this is my second race of the season. And for those who don't, you don't know, I have seven races this season. One PR, my goal you already know for preseason is to get two PRs. I might be getting that automatically because there's. I'll explain that in a little bit. My second race of the season is on, of all days, it'll be Mexican Drinking Day, Cinco de Mayo, a.k.a. Cinco de Drinco, a.k.a. Everybody's Mexican Day. May 5th, 12 days before my birthday, my mother's coming with me on this race, as well to celebrate Mother's Day early because, hello, let's get the hell out of here 45 minutes away and just go to another town. After all, it's out of town. It's not part of Omaha, so it's out of town. That's what out of town said. I didn't say out of state or out of the country. I said out of town. Not part of the Omaha Metro. Lincoln, here I come. This will not, like I said before, this is not the first, this is not the only time I'll be in Lincoln. There's another race I'll be doing in Lincoln later this year, which I'll get also to in a minute. Everyone, AJ42K Productions, me, Human Balto, this goes on, is going to start. A new chapter in his life. Effective now. I've had a terrible month this month. I don't want to get to all the details. That's nobody's business. But right now, I've already had one race down. I've got six more to go. My next race is nine. Nine, 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 nine. nine. I know. Yes, yes, yes. Nine days away. I'm nervous about this race for many reasons. Not just personal. Not just physical but many other reasons that's not going to be talked about today. There's been a lot going on this month, and not just one specific story. Quite too many to count. Aside from that, my race means more right now to me than anything right now. The Lincoln Marathon and Half Marathon, which I will be doing, is the biggest marathon in the entire state. That's why it's in Lincoln, aka the Lincoln Marathon, and it's also a cash prize, which I've already explained before. Top 5K cash. Look up all that on LincolnMarathon.org. <sighs> this race has always been the only race, the very last race I do before my birthday. Whether it's 10 days before my birthday, 12 days before my birthday, a week before my birthday, whatever. This is the last race I'm doing on my milestone birthday. My birthday is less than a month away. And if guests, welcome to Taurus Month, Maya Month. Hallelujah, I'm extremely stubborn and suspicious because I have reasons to be. Not because I want to be like Michael from Mary Poppins, but because we have reasons to be. We don't want to fall for the same trap again. Hello, that's why I'm a Taurus. And hey, like Michael from Mary Poppins, we do dress the best. After all, we're stubborn and suspicious and we're loyal too. Bet you did not know that, but I'm a Taurus. Because we're the ones that think with this head more than that one. But that's off the point. And if you think I haven't used this head for a woman... Shut up. I'm no virgin. I've already lost that a long time ago. No further details on that. Continuing. Back to the subject of running. Anyone who says go see a therapist, shut up, shut up, and stop being a triggered ableist cunt bag. Running is my therapy. Seeing karaoke is my therapy. And also dancing is also my therapy. You've seen all three of them in my YouTube page before. On several occasions. I don't have to see a therapist to some uh, have therapy. People in Nebraska don't know shit about disabilities. And I've been saying this for a long time. 
And aside from two days ago and aside from many things for the last 12 years, not even counting high school, which is pointless, two days ago can prove me right on everything I've been saying for so long. Nothing more on that garbage. But I want to say this right now to everybody. I am more determined in one pinky than you people have ever had in your entire body. I may not be the best runner. I know I'm not the best runner. I never said I was the best ever runner in the world. That's LeBron James cocksucker motherfucker material. And I didn't say I was dead last either. But people need to learn this specific thing about running. Like Nebraska, running, not for everyone. People asked me this question before. Why do you run? Depends on who I talk to. I tell them this. But if you, someone in general asks me like a friend or a general random person and they say it nicer or ask me, why do you run? In general, not to be a fake ass piece of garbage, but in general, they ask me, why do you run? I'll be glad to tell you why I run. Aside from being my number one therapy, I don't run for competition. Sorry, I, correction. I don't run for fun. I'm a competitive runner. I'm in my 30s now. I don't have to say I do fun runs. Speaking of that, participation medal is a fun run. Finisher medal is a competition run. Learn the between a participation medal and a finisher medal. One, participation medal, you can get that even before, even before, even before you somehow literally decide to run that. And if you don't run, you get it anyway. A finisher medal is this. No, no finish, no medal. You do get disqualified, no medal. You do not finish, no medal. You do not start, no medal. And if you're suspended or get tested positive and you have to take it back, yep, no medal for you, sweetheart. <coughs> now, of course, there's some races that don't give out medals. I can name some of them. And they are competitions, too. I've been through one of them myself. That does not mean it's a fun run. First, second, third, you get cash and maybe a trophy depending on the race and depending on what they do. If it says fun run or if the race director says it's a fun run or a virtual run or whatever considered, if it says virtual run, fun run, you're not guaranteed crap and it's not worth your money. Now, if you people want to do a fun run or if you want to do a fun run or anyone else in general wants to do a fun run, go right ahead. I run for competitions. That's number one. I'm not, like I said, I'm not the best runner, but I'm not the worst. I'm middle of the pack. I'm not going to be a LeBron James thinking, oh, I'm the next Michael Johnson, or I'm the next Carl Lewis, or I'm the next Noah Lyles. I'm not that type of guy. I'm not Noah Lyles. I'm definitely not LeBron, and I'm definitely not Michael Johnson. I'm Alex. I'm AJ 42K. That does not mean I don't want to be too cocky. Because if you say you're going to win first place every time, because I know a runner specifically, I know his name too, who does that, you're going to be let down. He won't, sh and speaking of that runner, which I'm not going to say his name, if he gets first, he won't shut the fuck up about it. If he gets second, third, or doesn't make the podium, he won't say a damn thing. Trust me, I know who he is, and I know some of you Nebraskans know who I'm talking about. No further details on that. That's his prerogative. Let him complain if he doesn't get first. That's his prerogative. As for me, I run competitions. That's number one. No further details on number one. Number two, I run from pain. I run from, I, number three, I run from away from hypocrites. I run because it's my therapy, number four. Number five, I run because it makes me happy. And number six, the reason why I run is because it makes me happy. When people act stupid, I'm like, well, you can run around the freaking basement or whatever. I'm like, why don't you fat ass get your ass up and do that yourself? I don't run recreationally. I run competitively. And yes, I know I'm not a competitive. I know I don't, sorry. I know I'm not no freaking pro or elite runner. But this is my thing because nobody gave me a chance. That's why I also run, and I also run to prove people wrong. I run because it's my sport, and I run because I'm me. Running saves my sanity. Running heals my pain from people who let me down, 
And like, since I have the human belt of nickname, long story short on that, which most people already know, that's why I run. I'm human Balto. Thanks, Ben Seaman. I'm glad you gave me that name. So that's my answer to your question, why do you run? Hope you understand. Now, back to the race. Lincoln, I will see you in nine days. But here's the thing I want to tell everyone. I don't care what you do. I don't care what you say. You are not going to fuck with me anymore. And now, you call me anything that's going to offend me? Looks like the trigger privilege little pussy doesn't want to get what he, what he or she wants anymore. Favoritism doesn't last forever, sweethearts. And like a fellow NFL Hall of Fame linebacker said on a commercial, who's laughing now? Me. Lincoln, see you in nine days. Take a mark. Set!